Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So, OAuth 2.0 flow, very important topic. Most of the people, they are not very much sure about it, how exactly OAuth 2.0 works. Later on, we can create some videos on 1.0 and what is the difference between 1.0 and 2.0. But today's topic is very important and it's all about a 2.0 workflow, how exactly it works. So before we start, I'll show you one, uh, one thing. You must have seen such... Uh, uh, pages where you let's say bigs.com you come over here and then you try to sign up and it's giving you an option you can continue with your facebook or google account as well it means i don't want to fill this particular entire sign up page i just directly come over here and i'm already having my google account and facebook account i want to use my account to do that so simple click on let's say continue with google and it will give you on a screen like that if you uh, see the screen and see this url if you see that it's saying accounts.google.com and OAuth2 authentication uh, URL we are hitting. So this is the authorization server. We are using it provided by Google actually. And then we will enter our email ID, password and everything. And then we will uh, log in with our Google account on this application that is Wix.com. Same thing if you click on continue with Facebook, it will ask you that uh, username, password over here and see this. this is again an authentication server URL which is provided by Facebook. So when you click on this, Facebook also, you will get the same thing. I'll show you one more example. Let's say you go to hacker rank, try to click on sign up. And then again, it will give you a number of options that you can connect with different social media accounts like uh, LinkedIn, GitHub, Google, and Facebook like that. For example, if I click on Google once again, see it's navigating me again to OAuth2 from accounts.google.com. Okay, let's say I'm clicking on LinkedIn. Same thing, this is OAuth2 session is available so you have to come over here enter your credentials and then uh, get it certified and get it validated or authorized from a uh, linkedin to access and to log into this application same thing for let's see for a uh, github also it's giving you the same thing over here like that so this is a feature this feature is actually called oauth 2.0 implementation for the uh, third party application that we are using it and we are going to log in with some existing account like facebook google twitter like that okay so but how exactly it is working what is the workflow what are the different um, <coughs> entities will be working over here so always remember that in OAuth 2.0 there are three major things the first thing is that actually this is your application where where any application that you are going to use it or on this application that uh, you have this sign up page you can uh, log in with different accounts like that <laughs> this is let's see google twitter maybe GitHub or Facebook like this. And uh, this is your application that you are using it. And let's say you are the user sitting over here, right? And who is going to use this particular application like that? Now, the moment this user clicking on Google, there is another entity that is called Google Auth Server. So this is your authorized Google server, actually. I would say Google Auth Server, okay? So when I click on it, so Google Authentication Server, we are directing over here like this fine and then this application is also having its own server which is let's see any app server or let's see any web server is now the problem is that we are sending this particular request uh, to this particular server so you can say simple say okay fine that okay we are going to log in and from this application now i'm sending the request to the web server and there is a google account is available let's see there is a google uh, contacts i want to get it right so this server will send the request to this particular Google website and saying, okay, hey, uh, I want to get the contact details or profile ID or something like this or account details of this particular user. Uh, Google simply denying this request. Google say, okay, no, you, are, you don't have any access for that. And then I cannot give you the access. So that's why we have to introduce the Google authentication server over here. So what exactly we will do that first time, we will hit this particular Google authentication server that I shown you that is called which is already provided by uh, Google authentication. And then we will configure this particular URL over here, this URL over here. So when user clicks on it, we are directly coming over here like that. And then Google authentication server will respond back with a grant over here. So this will give you one temporary grant. Okay, so this is called one temporary access or you can say temporary grant, right? So this particular temporary grant will be given and the same temporary grant, what exactly this uh, user or this application will do that, it will be 
given to this particular this temporary grant will be given to the web server and the web server which is running over here it will give the same uh, temporary grant to this particular auth server right so let's see this is the same temporary grant we are giving to this auth server and auth server says okay fine this is a uh, right a temporary grant and then it will return back with a refresh token over here so refresh token is available now with the server for that particular user and then the refresh token will be shared to google once again so the same refresh token will be shared with the google and google say okay fine this is a valid one and then i'm going to give you all the contacts or the profile or whatever the user profile of that particular user so this is called my resource server where all the resource says are available the data is available this is a google authentication server where just to authorize a request and provide the grant and validate that okay this grant is correct or net and then it will provide you the token and the same token will be shared with the google finally and then this is your actual google.com where the actual data is available and then when we pass this particular refresh token and then it will say okay fine this is fine and then i'll give you whatever you are looking for if you're looking for the profile you're looking for some other information like uh, contacts of that particular user or whatever that you are looking for then the web server will be getting this particular thing and the same data will be given to the application over here like that so this workflow is actually called oauth 2.0 flow so this is a very basic overview now how exactly you will be getting the temporary grant what are the different parameters we will be passing over here uh, just to get this particular temporary grant what is the role of application from here and how exactly the temporary grant will be given and on the what basis that google authentication server will respond back uh, to the client to the application on what basis and what parameters we have to use so let's see how exactly it works so first of all always remember this oauth couple of things oauth 2.0 is also called delegation server it's also called delegation workflow actually or i would say delegation protocol oauth 2.0 protocol and delegation protocol this is also called authorization protocol so it's a protocol which will give you the temporary access to your app server so it will give you the temporary access to this particular web server or app server which is uh, running over here and to get the resource from the okay from the resource server now this resource server could be anything this resource server could be a google facebook or whatever that you are looking for now what are the different parameters that we need to pass and what are the different other uh, things that we have to consider in oauth 2.0 so again let's see three things first of all that this is three four things this is a user that uh, this user is going to send uh, using this particular application this is my actual application the ui application that i'm using it right and uh, <clears throat> this particular ui application then we have uh, four buttons are available let's see google then facebook then uh, github or maybe something else or twitter or something so let's see this is my google so i click on this particular button and my target is that i have to collect all the different contacts and i want to import my google contacts to this application so for that i need google contact access so there is another entity this entity as i told you this is your google authorization server not the authentication server so this is called google auth server and then what we have to do this application when we click on it so just behind this particular button this google auth url this auth url is already configured by the ui developer and then we will send the request to the google authorized server so that will be the first step over here and then along with this particular step there are multiple parameters guys that we have to consider what are the different parameters when we hit the google auth server api that we have to consider first parameter we have to talk about what kind of a scope that you are looking for you're looking for the profile you're looking for the uh, contacts you're looking for any particular file you're looking for any uh, for example uh, contacts are you looking for any videos any youtube videos or something from google or you're looking for any uh, images from the google drive or something so tell me this is the scope that we have to tell right second thing is that we have to pass the response type remember these things are the important for interview point of view what will be your response type in the response type we say that okay yeah we need a code what kind of code that is a grant okay grant code we need a temporary grant code so i simply say we need a temporary a grant code 
the response type that we will say that and then we will pass one more thing that is called callback url this callback url is also called the redirect url what is a <coughs> redirect url is called by google once again so now google has to this authentic authorized server has to send some or response back to this so but we have to tell that okay where exactly i have to respond it back so that's why we have to pass the callback url which is provided by the application only right and after that we need to pass one client id also this client id is what this client id is only one time activity first time when you register with the google that time you will be getting this client id so this client id also some number xyz number will be uh, provided along with the parameter to google auth server right now this this auth server could be anything with facebook also it could be anything with twitter also it could be with uh, uh, github also so along with that these parameters we need let's see from facebook i need all the uh, profiles all the my friends profile or something like this we can say that now it will ask you it will give you one ui over here and then it will tell you that okay yeah enter your username enter your password or click on allow something like this allow button or something so you have to fill your information over here and then you have to tell that okay fine that i want allow by entering the username password and this ui is actually coming from the uh, coming from the google side or from the uh, whatever the resource that you are looking for it's saying okay enter your username password i'll show you see when you click on this after that it's this ui i'm talking about you have to enter your username password and click clicking on next button this is actually coming from the uh, authorized server only not from the wix.com so what exactly we have to enter this and when we click on this particular allow click immediately what will happen this is actually is happening from the google auth server side so i simply write google auth site so what exactly it will happen google auth's request will send you to the client to this particular application right so it is through the callback url so whatever the callback url that we have already passed this particular callback url right from the first step that we have already passed it will give you one response back and then it will give you what it will give you one temporary grant over here so along with that the request will be again back to your application so this is my application once again and then it will give you one temporary grant over here right so i'll get my temporary grant now when i get my temporary grant this is my ui application where i get my temporary grant now the same temporary grant i'll be sharing with my application server my application server wix.com in this case so let's say your this is your wix.com and this is your wix server is running so i'll be sharing the same a temporary grant to this guy and then what exactly i'm going to do that the same temporary grant app server what exactly it will do it will send this particular request to google auth server once again so this is my google auth server once again so i simply write google auth server now google auth server this time we are getting this particular grant and this grant is validated this grant is authorized now and google auth server immediately will give one a token over here so it will give one valid refresh token so this is now this time i'll be getting my valid token and this token is also called a refresh token right for the temporary access it will give it to you it's not like forever you can use it it can expire after 30 minutes also or 15 minutes like that then when we get the a valid a token over here now the same token will be given to the google where this is a resource server right where actual data is available but you can ask one question that okay when we got this particular temporary grant over here right why don't you send the same grant to this particular google server right google resource server you can send this to this direct grant over here this is also a valid grant right because it's already it will be authorized over here as well that why don't you send this grant over here no this grant i cannot send because this is not or not at all secured okay it can easily be hacked guys so when we send this particular grant to google resource it will reject this particular grant and it will not give you the permission it will simply say no access so with the temporary grant we a resource server cannot give the access so that's why we have to send this particular grant right this particular whatever the grant that we have get got it over here the same grant we will be sending to the google authentication server and then in the response bag it will give you one a token over here this particular token in the same token we will this token is very highly encrypted and then it will be given to the google resource and then the google resource what exactly it will return back now this google resource it will say okay fine then you take the resources from here so it will send the resources to this whatever you are looking for i'm looking for let's see profile 
or I'm looking for some uh, contacts over here it will be uh, given back to this particular application server right this is my application is running where actually user is is already accessing it so what exactly Google resource will provide the profile and contacts and the same profile and contacts will be given to the application and this user is able to see all the contacts over here right all the videos whatever that you are you have looked for your Google images from the Google Drive or something like this everything will be visible to the UI like this so this entire workflow if you see this is called OAuth 2.0 now I'll show you one thing that uh, simple go to this particular application once again and let's see I click on continue and if you see this copy this particular URL this is the first time that we have hit this particular server Google authentication server the step number one over here and then here along with that this is a OAuth server see this this is a redirect to URI that if you really want to come back you right along with the grant to this particular users.wix.com and then along with that we are passing the scope as I told you scope is equal to email profile and open ID something like this that we have to pass right and along with that we have to pass this client ID this is the client ID in this case and along with that we have to pass some other non mandatory parameters also from the app site so redirect URI is important over here and then we say that okay what will be the response type it will be the permission based response type so this is the first step right guys so then it will give you when you click on it it will give you this screen when you enter the username password and click on allow or and then the token will be the temporary token will be given to the UI application so I have uh, taken one more uh, really good example see this this is a proper authorization code flow taken from the athlete.com uh, you can also go there and uh, check it it's a really really nice API representation with the proper documentation and everything they have given so if you see this uh, particular thing this is the first thing this is the user and any application wix.com or hacker rank or whatever it's saying link to service ABC it could be ABC is your authorization server it may be like Google or whatever service yes I want to access with the Google I want to log in with the Google so that's why the first step is yes app makes an authorization request to the server authorization endpoint so it will come over here so authorization endpoint will be hit and then it will give you what it will say okay service return an authorization page to app and then it will say okay fine enter your username password and when you click on yes over here and then what will be the fourth step it will give you app display the authorization page uh, to the user over here this is the fourth step and when you enter the username password so user checks the requested permission input ID password to login and approves the authorization request so in the first step user is entering it and approve it and then what is the sixth step the sixth step is what then it's saying service whatever Google service issues a short-lived authorization code this authorization code as I told you that will be your temporary grant or authorization code will be sent to this particular authorization uh, app uh, you know whatever the application is running on this application server and then this application server will send this particular grant uh, to again to the authorization server that's why after six this is a seventh number right so it's saying that app present the authorization code to the service token point so there are token endpoint APIs are available it will hit this particular token uh, token endpoint service to the authorization server and then it will give you the final access token to the application now we got the access token and then we will send the same access uh, token to whom now this is your actual resource where the actual data is available so now if you see the workflow is slightly changed from A to D's web API call so we will send this particular access token resource server this resource server inquires of the authorization server info about the access token it says okay hey this is the right token or not right so uh, authentication server say okay yeah this is the right token it's saying authorization server returns info about the access token to the C step and the D step is this it will verify the access token and returns the requested resource uh, back to the application XYZ that wix.com over here so from A to D these are the web API calls such a nice diagram exactly I told you over here like that so this is called OAuth 2.0 also called delegation protocol or authorization protocol this is not your authentication protocol remember this thing that's a wrong thing so that's all for this particular video guys I hope you got it now thank you so much guys thanks for watching Naveen Automation Labs please subscribe to the channel a lot of good content is coming on the channel take care and God bless you all